Hi everyone. In this video, I would like to share with you one of the ways you can build your personal yoga practice. So I'm sure at some point, every yoga practitioner thinks that he or she can start practicing at home. Going in a studio is a great experience. You can meet the like-minded people, you can ask uh, your questions and get a feedback from the teacher. But to be honest, going in a studio, you never know, you're never gonna know what is the practice going to be. And even if the teacher knows your goals and your restrictions, it's impossible to cater every single student in a group. So in this video, I'm mostly going to talk about the physical aspect of yoga. So we're talking about the building your safe and balanced um, practice of asana postures. However, this type of this system can be applied also to in some way to pranayama breathing or the certain uh, meditation or focus based practices. But for now, let's talk about the physical practice. Of course, as you're moving from studio at home, you might start to uh, call some uh, personal trainer, a personal yoga instructor at your home twice or three times a week. Maybe you can start to search for some classes online. And the online thing is very tricky. I just recently opened my um, online yoga school and I did not do it for a long time because my view on the portals of yoga classes with a thousand plus um, videos it's just it's not necessarily beneficial because suppose you're moving into your home practice and you confused and you don't know what to do you don't know what the system should be and you go on this yoga portal and looking for the video classes and you're just choosing something here, something there, and because you have so many possibilities, it gets really confusing. And you're just basically wasting probably as much time as you would just go in the yoga studio. So it's the same yoga studio experience which you doing at home. But when I was creating my, uh, my yoga school, or I would call it my yoga community, I was thinking about how I can create a well-balanced program so even though it's not a private experience it's not like i'm building this program for each single person knowing uh, he her or his needs or knowing her or his restrictions but still there is a certain progression still there is a certain um, benefits uh, people getting and staying safe and in this video i would like to share it with you so let's take a look on two uh, qualities I'm giving to each class. So each class have its intensity and complexity. Intensity is how physically or mentally demanding your practice. And complexity, how complex are the elements of your practice and how well you know them. And each of these qualities will be dividing on three levels. Intensity is pretty straightforward. So it's three levels. The first one is the advanced level, when intensity is really high. The second one is intermediate. And the third one is, I would call it the easy. So something which does not really require much of the effort. And complexity. The first level, which is advanced, completely new elements. So some postures or techniques you never practiced before and you're just learning them. The second, intermediate, you're adding elements which you can do, however, would like to gain more expertise and knowledge about it. And the first one, the easy level, is the postures or techniques you are familiar with. So when you're creating your own program, you should manipulate these three levels of intensity and levels of complexity. It depends how much time you have and how many times a week you're planning to have your practice. But I would say, especially at the beginning, the regularity and discipline, it's your base. 
it's something everything will be built on and something what also can promote the safety of your practice. So let's suppose you have time to practice three times a week. And I'm just giving you an example on this month program, which we're having in Your Friendly Guru School. So this month we are choosing uh, the pose. That's what's actually happening every month. We're choosing the pose, and this month is Shalabhasana, Locust Pose. It's a pretty intense back bend. And that's the pose of the month. That's what I assume is the new element. And even if you already was practicing it before, you still can find something new in each pose, which is exist in yoga, even if it's very, very easy pose. So we are assuming that the Shalabhasana for us is a really complex. So it's a third level of complexity. So let's say Monday. Monday, we're choosing the level of complexity, advanced, and the level of intensity, intermediate. It happens because we don't want to it happens because we do want to stay safe and we'll be practicing the elements which is unfamiliar for us. We don't want to bring an intensity too high. In this case, we won't be able to concentrate on the technique, on the proper adjustments of the pose. So if you're practicing starting on Monday, and on Monday we're having um, the practice which is called the Shalabhasana, basically. So the whole practice is built towards this pose. And one advice for you, if you really love the Vinyasa flow classes, Vinyasa flow is something what is consists of the elements you kind of know already. Because you're not really stopping, you're moving through. And when you're learning the new elements, I would say it should be more static practice. It should be more thoughtful, more static, lots of repetitions. Just like if you are familiar with um, uh, when the personal trainers in the fitness, they creating their own, um, creating your um, personal training. The very first is building the stabilization before you move anywhere else. So think about it this way as well. So it's a lower load and more repetitions. So maybe when you're moving towards the element, which is not quite, which you are not familiar with, concentrate on these little drills which can help you build the stabilization build the strength so you can get into this pose and of course try in the pose itself so monday complexity is third level and intensity is intermediate let's say the next class is um, wednesday and the wednesday is the easy complexity and easy intensity that is way for you to reboot your nervous system and the kind of psychophysiological reboot and relax it can be restorative practice it can be in practice it can be just some um, breathings or even just a shavasana if that's what you need so that's something what can make you feel relaxed and recharged the third practice is friday and the friday that's uh, the vinyasa flow lovers that's probably going to be for you that's going to be um, an intensity high level advanced and a complexity second level so it can be some element elements which you cannot perform uh, perfectly or which you may be not as much familiar with however you can add them on in your vinyasa flow class of course, if you're not practicing vinyasa, it can be any other style, it doesn't matter. But it has to be a pretty intense and pretty physically or mentally demanding. And for this class, I usually choosing, and this month I'm choosing uh, just the vinyasa flow and I label it as level 2-3, so people know that maybe there is no much explanations, but it's, um, well, you probably can call it a workout. I know it's not very yogic but let's call it mindful workout right so it's something when you're building the connection when you're challenging yourself building the connection between your breath and the movement and see how you can stay and maintain this connection so that's the simple layout and basically the same thing you're repeating over and over every week if you have plenty of time and you're practicing six times a week which is actually not even about the time, but about setting the priorities. So it's just rotating, right? So it's one, two, three, one, two, three, and then Sunday is the free day. 
and that's repeating all over and over throughout the weeks. Uh, in the description for this video, I attached um, the PDF, a little presentation, so you can download and just check for yourself. There is also uh, a schedule for this month, uh, for first two weeks of this month, uh, from um, your friendly guru school, so you can kind of um, get an idea of what we're practicing and how maybe you can apply it towards your um, towards your own practice. So hopefully it wasn't too confusing. <laughs> And you get some um, some insights from what I was talking about and if you have any questions feel free to reach out I probably won't be able to build the personal practice for you but I will be definitely um, love to I love to answer answer your question and perhaps um, help you in some way and also Consider everything that's happening in the world right now and many people um, staying off more often home and not working and working from home. Um, we extended the free trial for our school, so it's two weeks. If you'd like to try and if you would like to just um, see if the home practice works for you, I leave the link below so you can go ahead and click and try completely for free for 14 days cancel anytime and uh, let me know what you think about it stay safe and let's practice together